Hello again everybody. I thought I'd take you on a flip through journey through my first colour themed glue book. Um, once again it's in a composition notebook and I glued pairs of pages together to give them more strength. I've called it Colour Crush and the cover both front and back is just these uh, stuck on paint samples from the hardware shop. Okay, here we go. And we start out with red. Um, open me up with a smile. That's always nice. I've never been a huge fan of red, but I actually really enjoyed um, doing these pages. And it was surprising as I went through working in colours, because, you know, colours fit your mood so much. And I found that I really wasn't looking forward to doing the blue and purple ones. But once you get into it, you, you find beauty in all colours. Okay, so this page is really just a mishmash of things red. Oh goodness, pomegranates are featuring a bit in my work lately. So there we go, some food and some drink. Tomato, single red head, GE free but lonely, looking for the spice of my life. Must enjoy picnics, barbies and beach parties. Interesting and well-travelled Europeans preferred. What fun. Okay, with each colour I tried to do a, a sort of a grid idea and this is uh, how the red one turned out. I like the perspective thing going on here, that's cool. And the, the ladybug up there. Okay. Right, and this is um, using papers in different ways, using Christmas papers and just spreading them out in that fan grid shape. And torn pages over here with a very handsome frog. Righto, Indian summer is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And this diary of a dress, seriously sassy. And this is uh, a lane up in Auckland City here in New Zealand. I like that one. Right, and now we've come to the end of the red section and we're transitioning into pink. So, I just thought that was gorgeous. Have a craft and own. <laughs> Don't we all feel like that sometimes after we've been banging our heads with crafts? Here's the grid for the pink section. Quite interesting. This one was fun, wasn't it? Spread it over two pages. I really like that. I hope I'm not missing pages. There we are. Right, some flowers as dresses and things. More flowers. It would have to be with pink, wouldn't it? And cutting out around these, um, oops, that's not quite stuck down. Cutting out around these letters was very fiddly. Okay, so now we're transitioning from uh, pink into orange. orange enjoying pumpkins and oranges beauty and the bees okay a couple of birds um, one of our New Zealand native birds the Kia has gone flying over to Australia to have a bit of a look around and a pheasant here very handsome chap okay so the Civic is a, a famous theatre up in Auckland She's just lovely, isn't she? Here we go, a bit of grid work for orange. And this one here is quite a favourite of mine. A world without wine is like a world without sunshine. Well, it depends, I suppose. <laughs> and now we're transitioning from orange into yellow. Okay. This one received a lot of comment. It's like three generations, isn't it? Really pretty. A beautiful sculpture, one of my favourite sculptures I've ever seen. Um, and just these glorious butterflies, it was the perfect place for them. Right, a couple of city scenes and young people enjoying themselves. It's possible they may both be Australian cities, I can't remember. 
Okay, I love this one. Love it, literally. <laughs> this couple are awesome. Let us possess one world, each as one, and is one truth. Dancing. Yes, that's a scene from Maria Island in Tasmania. Okay, some sassy ladies here. Isn't she gorgeous? Colour coordinated with her car. Wonderful, and I just love this. Okay, game on. <laughs> and the light show. Over here is the grid for the green section. And also some um, torn textured papers. Oh, this one is, is really cute. What drew me to this were these interesting looking individuals pretending to be bats hanging from trees. I, I imagine the blood rushed to their heads. Anyway, she's looking up at them, saying, go fly, my pretties. And the birds are looking over and saying, what do you think? They're batty. <laughs> okay. I like to put humour in sometimes. Okay, so here we are transitioning from um, green into teal or turquoise teal, really. Step out of your comfort zone. Experience something new. Explore a subtropical Pacific island. Yes. Right, now into waves a bit. There were quite a bit of water actually in the teal section. It's not surprising, is it? But I find waves very powerful, almost disturbingly powerful. <laughs> right, here's the grid section for uh, teal. Everything I need to know I learned from a little golden book. Yes. Right, there's another one um, looking down in perspective. So we've got the hummingbird looking down on this small guy floating around. And this wonderful um, jewellery brooch. And you've got the, the road way below in the little car. Okay, a bit of interior design here. Lovely, actually. I'd like to sit in both rooms. And how we've got the end of the teal section and moving into the blue section. A sunken forest adds to the mystique of this tranquil place and has made it a hit among divers. And this one has uh, got a separate sky to, to this part and the gorilla in there. Right, more waves, more power and more water. Hmm. Okay. Whoops, I'll just get that bit of tape off there. I hope. Uh, okay. Right. How French. A car you can undress. Isn't that wonderful? And I looked for something that looked uh, a lady who looked slightly French, but I don't know. I hope the French aren't um, put out about that. Right. Thanks. I made it myself. And she's got all these crowd of, crowd of admirers. All right. A Taiwan, a flavor journey, meal estate. I've always enjoyed this image of the cup. Um, and this one I did a while ago and, and trans, um, put it into this book. It seemed more at home here. Working with perspective again. Okay, Midsummer Night's Dream. And here she is leaning on the book saying menopause and dreaming of being in there. All right, out of the blue. Now we're transitioning into purple. So this is the part of the section that I found quite difficult. Purple's always quite difficult to find images of anyway, so um, both of these have got half of a lady's face in them. A few more ladies. And some flowers. Why not? It's about time. This crazy lady dreaming of Disney while she, well, who knows what she's doing. <laughs> Escape to another world, Queenstown down in New Zealand, South Island. And here we have some stairs with the girl growing up. It That was quite fussy to cut out, I can tell you. And I've always enjoyed this young lady. Maybe this is where she grew up when she was little. Right, transitioning from purple into brown. This is an actual portrait by this artist here. And I've, I've done a few collages with sort of giant things outside windows. 
mum giraffe kissing her baby. Right, blow in an instant. And I, I like this cat, I use it quite a lot. Isn't that there, a bit of fluff. And this one was fun. I love a good looking local. And here he is. <laughs> Original elegance, yes, right. Um, Kapa La Fara is um, a brand of coffee here in New Zealand. And this couple are now dancing around here too with the giraffe. So now we move into black opera. Don Giovanni and with a vengeance, the ultimate seduction for those who appreciate opera. Right, this one has worked out really well. I was pleased with this. So we've got the silhouette lady here and the dog and the two old guys tasting. And there's the look. <laughs> walk on the wild side. Quite a dramatic room, that one. Walk on the mild side. Right, uh, I find back views of people very strong and I like her over here. I don't care. I'd rather sink than call Brad for help. <laughs> Brad in the water. Now, the paper clips are here because over on this side, uh, where we're uh, moved into from black into white, um, I can't, I shouldn't show you this really. Just imagine she's, she's a beautiful naked lady and, and I love the way the light shined on her. But I'll just cover that up in case anyone gets offended. I, it never crossed my mind when I was doing it. Okay, another really good, powerful one, working with perspective. Here we are. Be the one who dares and never say it can't be done. Very true. Butterfly. Princess Diana, high and mighty. And the polar bears. Some torn strips of texture and to finish off the book there are two pages of multicolor and the inside back cover okay i hope you enjoyed that i really enjoyed doing this um, and i'll certainly start another one fairly soon righto bye bye